So welcome back everyone, Mike here. If you have been watching our channel for a while, you may remember back, say, a month or so ago, we had a little shirt drama. Uh, I have a problem with shirts that I wear in videos. Oh, actually, let me rephrase that. Melissa has a problem with some of the shirts that I wear in the videos because it drives her crazy when I wear the same shirt in different videos. But the problem is, see, uh, this is the 251st video right now. See, and I don't have 250 shirts. So there's definitely going to be some uh, double, triple, quadrupling up of shirts and videos. But I think I came up with a good solution uh, to the problem. I'll show you what I got here. First, I'll show you some of the shirts that I wear in multiple videos. I got this, uh, they're all pretty much the same. Short sleeve plaid. This is the summer wear. It's a nice green Carhartt shirt right here. I'm sure you've seen this one a few times in several videos. One of my favorites, actually. I like Carhartt clothing. It's plaid, my favorite. So I got that one. Then there's uh, this blue one here. I'm sure you've seen this numerous times as well. So that's that one. Probably wore this shirt right here maybe 10 times in different videos. I like it as well. Once again, short sleeve, plaid. This is the summer attire for Outdoors with the Morgans. So I could go on and on. I mean, basically they're all the same, they're just different colors. Everything kind of looks like this. So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe kind of standardize things a little bit, kind of get a channel uniform. I'll show you what I got here. Check that out. Got the old uh, Woodstack 2018 on the back. And I have a bunch of these, so I'll just wear them all the time. And you'll never know if it's the same shirt, right? I like this. Let me try this one on. Well, there you have it. Pretty nice shirt right there. But anyway, this evening we're going to try out the steel uh, battery-powered chainsaw. We're going to see how this thing works. So here's what we're going to be using. It's a steel MSA 200C. It's a battery-powered chainsaw. And the battery we have for it is a... AP 300 lithium ion. It's a big heavy battery. Now this saw is like a demo. It's not mine. I'm just going to try it out. It's used. I'm not sure how sharp the chain is. It feels as though it's relatively sharp, but it's definitely not a brand new chain. It's a little bit smaller than the Steel MS 362, but we're going to try it out. See how it does. So in order to do like a fair, you know, real world sort of test, uh, what I'm going to do is cut a variety of different hardwoods. I'll cut some red oak, some cherry, maybe even a little maple, and diameters ranging from maybe 4 inch to 10 inch, you know, typical firewood stuff. And then what I'll do over the next couple evenings, I'll bring that wood in, keep it separate from the rest of the firewood that I have down below, and then we'll split it all, stack it all, and the goal here is to see exactly how much firewood you can get out of a single battery charge on that chainsaw. That's not all going to happen tonight. It's going to get dark in about an hour, and I actually think it may rain sooner than that. But I just want to try this thing out tonight. We'll see how much we get done, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. All right, see how it does. Huh. Saw break.
All right, that's where we are so far. Not much, but we'll get there. All right, against my uh, better judgment, we're going to try it out on one of these oak logs right here. These are much, much larger than what we just cut up. Well, the rains came right on schedule, but here's what I learned so far about this saw. It is uh, pretty much what I expected. You know, firewood about this diameter here, four inch, six inch, stuff like that, it rips right through it, no problem at all. Once you get into this big stuff like this, it's, it's a little much for it. I mean, don't get me wrong, it'll cut it, no problem, but it's not going to be anywhere near as productive as a uh, decent size gas powered saw. You know, this one here is 14 inches in diameter. It's a little punky just on the edge, but solid red oak right here. But this saw would definitely get you out of a pinch. I think this would be the perfect saw, you know, to keep right in the side-by-side, -side, to uh, maybe mount on your tractor, have one in your truck, you know, if there's a fallen tree across the road or across the trail, or if you're going camping, something like that, and, you know, you need to cut some firewood when you're out there, this would be a great saw. I'm still curious though, uh, and we'll figure this out in another video, maybe the next one, is just how much wood uh, we can cut on a single charge. I know from doing this a bunch of times, if I load this Ranger up, you know, about this high, which really isn't that much more wood in here, uh, after I split that, it'll equal about one-sixth of a cord stacked up. And that was kind of my initial guess, I think, on what I thought this battery would last. Okay, it's showing half a charge right now. So, yeah, you may get a, uh, a full, you know, like a third of a cord out of this. Maybe a little bit more. Actually, probably a lot more if you cut stuff this size instead of this size. But we'll see. We'll keep, we'll keep playing with it, and uh, we'll figure it out. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to charge the battery. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And maybe tomorrow evening, if the weather cooperates, I'll come back out and we'll just keep cutting until the battery has no life left in it at all. And we'll see exactly, you know, how much firewood we can get out of one charge in the battery. I am, however, going to sharpen that chain or put another one on it. That one is pretty dull. I realize that now. But we'll just see how it goes. Uh, but, yeah, so far, so good. Uh, but anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.